guys, thank you very much for joining me while I open the June Glossy Box. Yes, it's back. I've not had a Glossy Box in oh such a long time. I have caved in and resubscribed because they had a special offer on where you could save, I think it was 50% off your first box. So if you've not been given the Glossy Box and you want to get it, head on over there now to the website because they've got a little good deal on. And I think I've got two free gifts as well and little samples for subscribing. Can we just note how amazingly well my nail varnish matches the box? So inside, as always, you get a little card to tell you what's inside your box. And there was a sneak peek as to what's in next, week, next month's box and that's what I'm after. I have the Spectrum Collection brushes, this exact type, but I do want one of those like fan brushes. It is a very full box. So the first thing I want to pull out is the biggest thing and it is a Batiste Stylist Shield My Locks heat and shine spray which I have not used before so I'm quite curious to see what this is like. So this nifty two in one protects up to 230 degrees shielding against even the hottest styling tools. I need that. Leaving your locks lovely and sleek with a mirror shine finish. Specifically designed for you to use on dry not damp hair. Ah, so that's very interesting. I'm curious to see what that's like. Then we've got something that says Africa on it which is really exciting because that's where I'm from. This is a exotic Africa argon oil nourishing hand cream enriched with natural argon oil, Abyssinian oil and ylang ylang oil. Oh, it smells so nice. So nice. That is lovely, just a nice light hand cream, perfect. The next thing we have is a Beauty Pro Black Diamond Black Peel Off Mask with Activated Charcoal. Now, I think we've all seen lots of YouTube videos and Instagram stories go pulling off this nasty mask and having loads and loads of their clogged pores coming out. So this apparently does work really, really well and I'm really excited to try it. I may even do a little Instagram story of my own to join the tribe. Then what do we have here? A Manna Glow Illuminator. An incandescent, oh, I love that word, incandescent. An incandescent liquid, oh, that moisturizer smells so good, that lightens up skin with all over radiance, mixed with foundation or wear alone. Great for all skin types to provide a natural luminous glow. You use on face or body to create a natural, youthful glow and illuminizing finish. That sounds really good. Oh, kind of like a pinky kind of tone to it. Hmm, it has just actually kind of given a very subtle glow. Actually, I'm quite into that really because other than like a bit of a shine, I like a bit of a healthy glow. I'm glowing a bit today. I don't know why I'm glowing so much today. Kind of feels a bit like a primer. So you might just put it on like before your foundation. It says you can mix with your foundation as well. Might give that a go too. Then we've got a Dr. Paw Paw Original Balm. Multi-purpose soothing balm with natural paw paw for lips, skin, hair and beauty finishing. Cuticles, nails, fragrance free. So this is for just about everything. I love a good multi-purpose product. Really weird, it kind of feels like just an empty. <laughs> it feels like it's just empty, but I'm sure it's not. It genuinely feels like there's nothing in there. Oh no, something came out. I don't think that is very good packaging. It feels very hard and it just almost feels like there's nothing in there. Hard to explain. It's come out as like a little see-through gel. Yeah, I mean, it just feels, like a bit of a gel. I think what I might actually use that for actually is to massage into my cuticles. It does say cuticles and nails and I think that's probably what I'll use it for to give my nails a bit of a treat. Then we have a 111 Skin from Harley Street of London people. Base Defense Bright Eye Lift Gel. This is one of the most luxurious eye products out there. It does everything you want an eye gel to do, reducing the appearance of dark circles, minimizing puffiness, and softening the appearance of fine lines, all while keeping your eye area hydrated. That sounds good. I'm really excited to use that. I have not been able to fix on a good eye serum or eye cream product. I hate it when these things do that. Like often I just think I'm a bit cursed when it comes to things coming out. Like what can I be doing wrong? It's pump action, you know, pump it. Does anyone else have this issue? Oh, 
finally. Pump away, pump away. Right, so I like it because it's serum and it's very light. I've been using a few cream eye products lately and I just don't like it. I kind of feel they're a bit too thick. They kind of sit on my skin. Then my foundation doesn't go on very well. Whereas that is actually feeling like a very, very nice kind of like serum that will sink into the skin very quickly and, and I think that's what I'm what I'm needing really. Then we've got a Rodial Glamour Lash Mascara. I love Rodial so that's quite exciting. Are we going to be able to get it off to have a look inside? Honestly, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Why can't I ever get into stuff? It blows my mind. Right, so here we go. It's a radial mascara. I've never used a radial mascara before. Oh, that looks like a nice wand, actually. Quite chunky, but not gloopy. Glamour Lash Mascara XXL. This might be one of the free gifts, actually, guys. I think that Dr. Paul Paul was as well. I think these are the free gifts that I got because I subscribed this month, so... FYI. So we've got a, I can't see the brand name. Hmm, that's weird. <sighs> I just find it immensely frustrating that I can't open things. Right, so this is quite strange. As a marketeer, I'm all about the branding. And can you see what the brand of this is? No, you can't because it's black on black. It says there, sleek makeup, but you can't even see that it says it. Not very good packaging, I'm afraid. This is a Power Plump Lip Crayon. Nothing is more satisfying than drawing on the perfect lip colour. This pretty shade contains a lip tingling ingredient that encourages blood to the surface of the lips, making them look plumper. That sounds perfect, and that's a lovely colour. So aside from the packaging, there's nothing not to be happy about there. So that was it. That was June's Glossy Box. Like I say, first time I've had this box for absolutely ages. Some really, really good stuff in here. Some quite big full-size products as well, which is always a good, happy day. So yeah, I've enjoyed opening that. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. If you've enjoyed it, please come back again and visit me. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.